Welcome back. It's back to school season, and we're taking a closer look at a little known risk amid all the excitement. We're talking about back to school photos. The Better Business Bureau has a warning for parents. The cute pictures filling up your timelines could be exposing children's information to scammers and others who don't have their best interests at heart. And for more about that, we're talking to Joe Sarine. He is the outreach coordinator with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for Joe. having me. So tell us a little bit on what parents should keep in mind if they do want to post a photo of their kids. Sure, absolutely. You know, back to school photos come with usually kids holding up a sign that says their full name, their age, their height, and other details. Unfortunately, scammers and predators can use that information to uh, steal their identity or to keep track of them and earn their trust. So should we just not post photos at all? I know a lot of parents no. want to share the excitement. Sure, absolutely. Just keep the personal information yeah. to a minimum. So don't post their first and last names. Don't post where they go to school at. Don't post their, uh, what grade they're in or what their, their, their teacher's names are. A lot of that stuff is also used for your security uh, questions, for your banking and checking accounts. So wow. any kind of personal information you can limit out there is a good thing. So you talked a little bit about personal information, someone being able to hack into maybe your personal account. What kind of impact could this have on your child if you're posting this information? Sure. If someone gets a hold of your child's information and is able to open up uh, fake accounts, uh, financial accounts in their name, it could be years before they even realize that they have these accounts open in their name. So they could be applying for their first loan, you know, when they're getting married for a car or something, and now they have to deal with years and years of this bad credit, uh, you know, that could destroy their, you know, credit and, and just really horrible. Is this actually happening right now? How common is that? It happens all the time. Um, I don't know how often you see your, if you're on Facebook, you see posts from your, all your friends. Mm -hmm. Don't accept any friend requests from me because I've been hacked. It happens every day. So what they do is they try to get into your Facebook account through uh, friend requests. So that's two things you want to look out for is don't yeah. accept friend requests from strangers. And secondly, you want to be careful you don't take a second friend request from someone you're already connected with. Because chances are that's an imposter that's just trying to get access to your information and your friends list. What about security, privacy, things like that on your account? What, can you, what should you keep in mind? Yeah, so you want to make sure you go through all your social media accounts and check the security settings uh, pretty regularly. And be mindful of who is actually being able to look at your photos. And then you also want to see what public information or what private information you have out there. Or is your phone number listed, your address, any of that information you might want to think about removing as well. And I know a lot of kids, I mean, the, the younger kids are getting their own social media accounts at this Absolutely, point. Absolutely, yeah. What kind of conversation should you be having with your child to make sure that they're not posting something that they shouldn't? Sure, I think it's the same uh, conversation parents have always had. It's just being involved in the, in the kids' you know, daily routine, having access to their account uh, with their passwords and their login. So anytime you want, you can scroll through and see exactly what they're posting. And then you can control the, their privacy settings as well. Is there anything that we should be saying to our children, any conversations we should be having with them on how they should handle their social media accounts? Yeah, I would let them be aware of age appropriateness on things that you post and ultimately the, the information that you do post about sensitive information. Um, kids will post their, their phone numbers or you know where they're going to be at this time of day with their friends, you know, let's go hang out. So that kind of information can be picked up by predators and like I said, they'll, they'll stick around, they'll keep following the, the post, they'll earn your, the, the kids trust and that just creates a whole other uh, list of problems. All right, a lot of very important information. It's a shame that we do have to take it these really precautions, is. but it is. it's better safe than sorry. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much, Joe. Thanks for having us. me.